It's always never endless if we want to discuss anime. Because anime is always evolving and bringing up new series in every season. However, the anime variety with the isekai background has reached a high level of enthusiasm for anime lovers. If isekai anime genre like, action, romantic or overpowered genres is too mainstream, I suggest you can start watching anime with magic school as we have prepared for you, top 10 isekai anime where the main character is transferred in magic school. Keeping watching this video. Let's go. Spare Me, Great Lord. One of the Chinese anime that deserves to be watched, because it has a light, but not boring storyline, and the animation that is very pleasing to the eyes. I will guarantee you 100% if you feel this anime was so bad. This is the story of an orphan, Lu Xu, he is not any regular orphan, but a metahuman experiencing the changes in himself, his country, and the world during the dawn of the magical era. He is abandoned by his parents at a young age, only retaining a walnut-shaped pendant from them. When he gets into a car accident, his pendant manages to save him, while bestowing the distress point system in the process, activated his unawakened. Traveling under the employment of the Heavenly Network, although at first it was underestimated in entering the lowest rank, F level. In the end Lu Xu managed to control his unique magical power, which is to use the emotions of the people around him to get the points he used in magical roulette. On his journey Lu Su Hu was able to increase the power of the legendary items he got in magical roulette, even his strength and skill was above the average of his classmate. In the adventure of Heavenly Network, Lu Xu learns more about the world and himself. Along the way, they'll encounter supernatural events, obstacles, and will do anything for his loved ones to make happiness together, off coursely with his sister Lu Xiaoyu. Lu Xu make the best of his abilities and oust his never-ending list of rivals and opponents when he unlocked one by one his hidden power where the main character being overpowered like a god. The Fruit of Evolution Main story started when a man claiming to be a god suddenly hacks a certain school's intercoms, ordering all of its students to team up and prepare to be transported to another world. In this fantasy world where the existence of heroes is very rare and urgently needed to save the world from various threats. The initial transfer is a success, after that they will be given special skills in the hopes that they become that world's heroes and defeat the demon king that ravages the land. Seichi got constant bullying due to his somewhat undesirable appearance, is left behind as no one is willing to be his teammate. As a result, Seikai separated from his friends and moved to an extreme place inhabited by high-level monsters. Although it was difficult, but something happened to Seichi, because he had eaten fruit of evolution then suddenly Seichi's physical and magic abilities turned very overpowered. Seichi's combat and magic was overpowered and increase multiplied many times than his classmates who had been transferred to safety area. At the beginning of the journey Seichi was also accompanied by a gorilla, who evolved into a human. Recap story they went to the city and registered themselves as members of the Adventurers Guild. Since then Seichi got a new partner he will always be there to accompany his adventures. Wise Man's Grandchild Merlin Wolford was once regarded as a national hero, hailed for both his power and achievements. Preferring a quiet life however, he secludes himself deep in the rural woods, dedicating his time to raising an orphan that he saved. This orphan is Shin, a normal salaryman in modern-day Japan, who was reincarnated into Merlin's world while still retaining his past memories. As the years pass, Shin displays unparalleled talent in both magic casting and martial arts, much to Merlin's constant amazement. On his 15th birthday however, it becomes apparent that Shin only developed his combat skills and nothing else, leaving him with blatant social awkwardness, a lack of common sense, and a middling sense of responsibility. As a result, Shin enrolls in the Kingdom's Magic Academy to hone his skills and mature among other teenagers. However, living a normal life is impossible, as he is established as a local celebrity almost as soon as he arrives. Becomes an interesting story when Shin grows up at the Magic Academy, makes a new friends, learns about the world and fights off the various forces of evil surrounding him and his city.
High school prodigies have it easy even in another world. Even Japanese high school students enjoy international renown for their remarkable talents. One day, these friends survive a plane crash only to find themselves in the medieval fantasy world of Freyjaggard, where two human races live side by side in a feudal society, the Bayuma, who have animal features and formidable strength, and the Hayuma, who have a small chance of magical aptitude. After being rescued by the Bayuma Winona and her adopted elven daughter Lyril, the group pledges to use their advanced skills and knowledge to pay back the people of Elm Village for their hospitality and find a way to return back home. Tsukasa Mikigami, the Prime Minister of Japan, acts as the leader of these young geniuses and organizes their efforts to intervene in Freyjaggard and gather the information and resources necessary for achieving their goals. Believing that there is a connection between their current situation and an ancient legend about seven heroes from another world who defeated an evil dragon, Tsukasa directs the others to learn about the culture around them and search for any clues leading them back to Earth. But he also gives another instruction, to take it nice and easy, lest they ruin this world by giving it their all. Quan Ji Fa Shi this Chinese anime series is getting more viewers and attention during the coronavirus pandemic, after blow up in season 4, 2020, which was then extended to season 5, 2021. The aloof high schooler Mo Fun has found himself in a universe similar yet distinctly different from his own mundane one, it's a place where magic has replaced the essence of science. Here, the most capable students are taught to master the wonders of spellworking to fend off large devastating beasts that lurk in the forests surrounding the city. Like his previous life, Mofun remains the son of a poor laborer and the older stepbrother to a crippled sister. Despite these disadvantages, he dreams of attending a magic school to become a magician a highly respected and lucrative trade in order to repay his father for his hard work. Nonetheless, Mofun manages to harness not only the powerful fire element, but also the rare lightning element. Even so, Mofun didn't want to stand out with his friends, just as a secret weapon also when facing a strong enemy. Isekai Cheat Magician Regular high schooler Taichi Nishimura and his childhood friend, Rinazuma, are on their way to school one ordinary morning. Suddenly, a glowing light envelopes them, transporting them to a fantasy world full of magical creatures. Upon their arrival, Tai Chi and Rin are threatened by a beast. They are promptly saved by a group of adventurers, who advise the pair that traveling unarmed and inexperienced makes them vulnerable to the recently increasing monster attacks. Tai Chi and Rin are directed to the guild, where they can determine their magical aptitude and register as adventurers. However, the test they take reveals an unprecedented result, Tai Chi and Rin possess extraordinary powers that far surpass the standard mage, instantly transforming them from typical high school students to the ultimate cheat magicians. Tai Chi and Rin learn to grasp the full extent of their powers and familiarize themselves with their new world. However, while the duo seeks to uncover the reason behind their transportation and a possible way back to their original world, unexpected trouble lurks in the shadows. Knights in Magic Tells the story of a genius programmer who reincarnated into another world after he died in an accident. In the fantasy world, there is an academy that teaches students to become knights. The knight who controlled combat with mecha weapons by using magical energy. Since being reborn Ernesti Echeverria had a weak body compared to his comrades. But in his previous life he was obsessed with robots in film. So he was inspired to become a knight who fights to defeat monsters by powerful mecha called Silhouette Knights. In order to become someone who can be relied on in the fantasy world, a little Ernesti struggles and try hard to active in studying. In the fantasy world, he still has a strong memory of programming, and that helps a lot to learn magic. On the basis of magic in the world it is not much different from the programming language knowledge possessed in the previous world. So in three years he was immediately accepted into the Royal Lihela Magic School Academy. Unlike the other students, he wanted to quickly become a knight. The main problem is the height that is still not adequate, even though in terms of ability, he is worthy of being a good pilot for Silhouette Knights. 
With his genius brain, Ernesti plans to adjust the size of his magic weapon. Starting with modifying magic equipment and creating his own magic style, Ernesti teams up with the twins named Adeltrud and Arkid Alter with the goal to create his own silhouette knight, a feat unheard of for several centuries. Magical Warfare The world as we know it is actually just half the story. Takeshi Nanasi finds out abruptly one summer morning. On his way to kendo practice, Takeshi comes across an unconscious girl in a uniform he doesn't recognize. Takeshi does the decent thing and saves her, and in return the girl wakes up and accidentally turns him into a magic user. As Takeshi finds out, there is the world he lives in and the world of magic users. Most magic users just want to peacefully coexist with non-magicians, but there are some with bigger ambitions. Mui Aiba is a magician enrolled in the Subaru Magic Academy, where magic users can learn to control and channel their powers and how to live in peace with regular humans. All three friends have different reasons for fighting on, whether they're fighting to escape the past or catch up to the future. They wield different kinds of powers, which they must learn to harness in order to fight off the ghost trailers, a group of magicians who are willing to use violence to assert their superiority over humans, pursued by the ghost trailers, Takeshi and his friends must train to become stronger, face the leader of the trailers, and prevent the beginning of the second great magic war. The strongest sage with the weakest crest. Anime genre's action-adventure and fantasy-telling story about the reincarnation of a magic user who has run out of expansion to improve his abilities, because he is blocked by a mark that has been there since he was born. Even though he could use the most powerful magic, he still felt it wasn't enough. The only way to get more power is to come back to life by reincarnation. Besides wanting to be strong he also intends to find a formidable friend so that he can practice magic by involving more people. Then after the reincarnation magic was activated he woke up as a noble child named Matthias Hildesheimer. The reincarnation that was done, it's just that it might take a long time to remember all the memories from the previous life. The mark always following him to use infinite amount of magic like fire, thunder, and manipulation everything around him. He can also be skillful in various kinds of close combat with sword magic as well as other highest magic level. His past abilities and experiences also become the foundation for his team to use the best strategy, so that the quality of his fighting partners also improves as well. The greatest lord is reborn as a typical nobody. The most powerful entity of all time, the demon Lord Varvatos thinks life is a big fat snore. But he was lonely after losing all his friends. When he takes matters into his own hands and decides to reincarnate, he calibrates his magical strength to be perfectly average. When starting a new life after being reincarnated, Little Ard has a major problem in interacting with people around him, he had having hard finding his new friends in that world. Irina was the first friend he got, after Ard saved Irene from the tragedy of Goblin's attacks. A few years later, Ard decided to enter the Laville National Academy of Magic with Irina. He realized that everyone in the modern world would be weak as hell, which means he is totally overpowered once again. Ard and his new friend at that magic school are trying their best so that the value of magic in the world can be raised degree that he had intended in his past. Unfortunately, his memory is still intact and he doesn't realize how much he has lost during that time. This also seems to be at the expense of his normal life. But Art has a one-track mind and he won't stop at anything to achieve his ultimate goal.